So it's Wednesday night, it's uh, two nights before we're uh, expecting to head off, so I'm currently sifting through the maps and the books to figure out what to do. We're thinking of a wild camp if the weather is going to be uh, any good. And it's going to be around about here, um, south of the uh, Achman Shilich. Um, and then uh, there's a like flag and a couple of copies there, so uh, we'll see how we go. We'll see if the weather's going to be good enough to do it. So I choke on the sun And the days blur into one In the backs of my eyes On the things I've never uh, It's uh, five to three And we left Perth at about a quarter twelve, stopped in Vanessa uh, Heading towards Achmishili And into the hills some rows, it's weather's okay at the moment, but uh, don't know how much of it. Here we are heading up the path, left about 45 minutes ago and it's been raining, still raining. You can still see the tops just about, that's looking over to the hills north of Achmishila. Well, according to Ross, is it? What is it? It's quite well cooked. Let's have a look inside. Oh, oh, bed. Bed. Well. This is probably more luxurious than what we're going to be in tonight, but unless we know there's there. Very good. Anyway, oh, one more to knock A bit steamy, there's Ross enjoying his tea. How's your tea, Ross? Good. It must be about uh, 10 o'clock now. Time is up? Yeah, uh, it's pretty wild out there. Um, I'm glad to get the tent up, glad to be inside um, and out of it, really. Uh, it's good tea. We're getting into a sleep bag in a bit. It's a wind. Hopefully, it's not going to get any worse than that. Seven o'clock. We're uh, we're camped at what height did you say on your GPS? Seven five four. Seven five four meters. Um, I don't know if you can make out from the video, but the tents. Fuck. <laughs> well, the tents had a wild night. It was horrendously windy last night. Uh, it's kept us awake most of it. And. Uh, the, the tent pool has finally snapped up there somewhere 
um, which meant lots of the night this side of the tent was coming in. But it has been a good old tent, it's been, I don't know, 16, 17 years old. Been around the place. Yeah. <laughs> um, having a chat with you. <laughs> reminiscing over this old tent, so I think that's it, it's gonna have to, it's have to go to tent heaven now. So anyway, what time is it, Ross? Seven o'clock or something? Seven o'clock. About three years ago I was thinking there's no way I'm doing any more walking today. We're going to do a retreat off this hill, but uh, we're going to do the second and third Munro's. And then head back to the car and get some of So that's just the state of the tent. That's the view over to the second Munro. I'm just going to strike camp in a minute. You can see the uh, bit of makeshift uh, repairs in the middle of the night there. <laughs> Guy lines. And you see the top of it's uh, snapped. Pretty good. Pretty sorry looking tent now. A wee bit of blue sky there, and we're heading up here to the Corbett and then heading down quite tired. Hopefully, there'll be more of the sunshine. So, approaching the, uh, approaching the final summit, 24 hours, this is the Corbett 862. I know you always been. 